Hello and welcome to self-built camper van. Now this afternoon I'm going to uh, finish off insulating the roof and uh, get that last panel up. Now yesterday I fitted the solar panel to the roof. I'm going to um, finish off with, um, with a cable gland and uh, get that glued in place. No water has come through the roof last night and we had loads of rain. Now what I have done temporary is uh, just there is the charge controller for the solar panel. Now what I have done is I've just wired it up temporary. Going uh, from the charge controller down to, uh, down to the leisure battery. I'm not going to show that in, uh, in any detail at all as uh, I've, I've just done it to make sure it's working and um, when I do go to uh, fit it, the charge controller in uh, where I want it, I'll show you um, how to wire it up then. What I'm going to do is uh, put a little bit, of, uh, a little bit of glue up here. And I'm going to... Um, Instead of uh, putting it up like I did before, I'm just going to break it up and fluff it out because uh, the last uh, sections there I put far too much uh, insulation up. So we're just going to take it nice and steady. Not too thick, otherwise, we won't. Uh, get the, the ply up on the roof here. Right, piece of ply is all marked out ready. So what I'm going to do now is uh, is cut uh, cut this ply.
Right, that's that uh, piece cut for the for the front roof section. I've got to cut some corners out on this because of uh, the sliding doors uh, mechanism. But uh, we'll take some measurements now, and uh, we'll uh, we'll offer it up and uh, see what adjustments we right, need to make. That's the last uh, roof panel fitted and um, all screwed in place. Had to cut out uh, the two uh, front corners uh, for the door runners, but uh, no problem there at all. And uh, I've had to uh, put some, screw some little bits of wood up at the front, so I'm able to uh, screw uh, the, fr the front of that piece of ply uh, up, to, up to the roof. But uh, all gone in no problem at all. It's come to a stage now that uh, it's been insulated, double insulated, all ply lined, the cables are uh, running for uh, the front lights, the rear lights, sockets on the, on the passenger side, the solar panel has been, uh, been fitted, the cable gland is now uh, fitted and um, I've used some, uh, some Evo stick, sticks like turbo, it's a white adhesive, sets within about 15 minutes but uh, fully uh, cures after about uh, 24 hours. I'll show the gland uh, shortly, but it's come to a stage now where we can um, empty the van out with all the tools, clean the van, and uh, we're then into a stage where we can start uh, carpeting the roof, the walls, all the panels and doors, and um, start uh, laying, laying the, the floor down. Black and white uh, checkered tiles, uh, laminate tiles uh, going on the floor, self-adhesive. Still got to uh, insulate the rear uh, right uh, door panel but uh, no time no problem with that at all and we've already got the board uh, cut out ready uh, also uh, the two wheel arches uh, left just a treat two little bits of rust and uh, next time we pop down the builders merchants i'll uh, pick up some more of that uh, bubble wrap insulation and uh, we'll get the wheel arches uh, bubble wrapped. All we're going to do is uh, bubble wrap those, and then we're going to uh, seal all the all the gaps with some uh, silver uh, silver tape. Uh, we're not going to carpet over that. I wouldn't have thought it's never ever going to be uh, going to be seen. That's it for today, folks. Uh, we've uh, we've given the van a good hoover out, and it's absolutely spotless in the back now. But uh, I'm back to work tomorrow night, so um, four nights back at work, and uh, I won't be able to uh, do any more work in the van now till next uh, Thursday, stroke uh, Friday. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you on the next one.